So the first part of rotating your wheels, you need to disassemble them. So actually you can already see it here, but the profiles of the wheels are uneven. So basically the reason why we rotate our wheels is so that we don't have to replace them as quickly and we can uh, make sure that all the wheels wear down at the same rate. So you can see that this compared to this wheel, the profiles are shaped differently. And so that kind of requires us to fix it. So that's the front wheel. Keep the bolts and nuts to, uh, to the side. It doesn't really matter if you mix them. Uh, they don't get better or worse performance based on where in the configuration of wheels they are. Be sure to keep track of where everything is so that when we rotate them, we can put them where they're supposed to be. Now, to rotate your reels. So we're gonna go in diagonal crisscross shape. So this goes here, that goes there, this goes there, that goes there, and this and this come down. So in practice, it goes And then these two switch. So and then you just put them all back on and that's how you rotate your wheels. This is what happened with my old wheels. And you can see that they're very, very bad. <laughs> they would look like that on the wheel, and that is not good. So, rotate your wheels so that this doesn't happen as much. Another thing to cover is how to get the bearings out of the tires. So, take this, put it there. Push it really hard. These wheels are harder than the typical Speed Max to get out. So, to reassemble it, you just take it, push the first one in. And again, it's really tough to get it in these ones. Put the axle back in, in the spacer, and then put the bearing in. And then that is how you reassemble a wheel. Again, disassembly, you just push it and take the pieces out. Reassembly, you put the bearing in, flip it, put the spacer in, and then put the bearing in. 